Good morning, YouTube. It is currently a brisk Monday morning here in Arizona, and I'm gonna be jumping in my pool this morning, which I just took a measurement of, and is about 54 degrees. My goal is to start cold plunging for the next seven days to see if I notice any measurable benefits on myself in terms of recovery, inflammation reduction, or any types of changes in my mood as a result of jumping in the pool and doing a cold plunge. If you're new to my channel, I am an entrepreneur, and I'm also an endurance athlete, and I train every morning with a bodybuilder. So I put a lot of tax on my body and I've definitely been feeling a lot of the aches and pains of that over the last couple months. Something that has definitely been missing from my recovery regimen, which I've always been curious about for the last 10 years is cold plunging or cold therapy. And I've seen thousands of entrepreneurs and other people on YouTube post about the benefits of cold plunging, including my business partner, Derek, who's made this a big part of his life and seen some amazing improvements in his health and wellness. For me personally though, I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't love like the cold. I moved to Arizona to be in the warmth. I like the sun. I like warm water. I don't like jumping in an ice bath. And this is definitely going to be as big of a mental challenge for me as it is a physical challenge. So this is actually going to be day two because last night I actually did my first cold plunge in the pool. And the reason for that was before I went through all the trouble of filming a video, I wanted to make sure that this was actually something that I could get my mind over and actually do. So last night, the pool water was about 54 degrees Fahrenheit. And I jumped in and initially was in for about 10 seconds, jumped out, bailed. I started feeling a little dizzy, a little bit lightheaded, and then decided that I needed to get back in there. And I got back in for another 15 to 20 seconds. I definitely felt some great benefits from that, but that's definitely well below the range of where you want to be to experience the benefits. The water is definitely good. 50 to 60 degrees is sort of the warmest that you want the water to be to experience the benefits of cold therapy. But I want to work my way up over this week, hopefully closer to a minute, a minute and a half of being in the water as my nerve endings and my body starts to adjust to the cold and I start to acclimate a little bit to being in the cold water. Wish me luck. And for those of you that are veteran cold plungers, I know that these types of temperatures are definitely beginner stuff, but I very much am a beginner. I'm a rookie. So bear with me. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you do cold therapy yourself, or if this is something that you've been wanting to try. All right, so I just took the water reading. It is currently 53 degrees in the pool right now. And a couple things that I'm gonna focus on when I jump in is one, I'm gonna focus on my breathing. Last night, I noticed that initially when I first jumped in, my breaths were super, super short and I started to get a little bit lightheaded. Everything that I've read basically suggests that you really wanna focus on deep, deep breaths, breathing as you normally would. That way you're getting enough oxygen and as your blood pressure starts to spike and all of the crazy things that happen, the adrenaline rush, you really just have a lot more oxygen that's hitting your brain. So it's a lot more comfortable and you're able to tolerate the cold a lot better. Like I said, last night I tried this. The longest I was able to stay in was about 15 seconds. So as I want to move towards that minute, minute 30 to really experience the benefits of this, I'm going to be trying to break that time. So today I'm going to go for somewhere between 20 to 30 seconds and then just work my way up day after day for the next couple of days of trying this challenge. All right, so behind the camera, we got my lovely fiance rocking the stopwatch. So it's actually going to be accurate. And I'm just going to chill here for a second and prepare myself. Fucking A. What am I at? All right. <sighs> well, it's got a lot easier once I hit 30 seconds. Now I'm over a minute and I feel like I could go a lot longer. I just feel a little dizzy. <sighs> okay, okay, that's enough fun for today. All right, we did 125, let's go. All right, so that was obviously not at all what I was expecting the outcome of that to be, but now that I guess I got my goal, <laughs> challenge over. No, no, it's, but seriously, I really did not expect to be able to go from like 15 seconds to a minute 30, but having my fiance out here holding the stopwatch for me where I wasn't super focused on just watching the time and getting to my goal it really made a difference where she was sort of coaching me on my breathing, reminding me to take those deep breaths that I talked about before I jumped into the water. And that really just helped benefit me a lot. So excited to see how far I can take, you know, this challenge. 
Okay, so it's currently day three. The sun's about to go down and I'm losing light, so I need to get in the cold here. You might be wondering why I'm actually doing this cold plunge experiment. There are a ton of benefits that have been scientifically proven to come from actually doing cold water therapy. It reduces inflammation, it helps with muscle soreness, which is the primary reason why I'm doing it as somebody that likes to run ultra marathons, cycle long distances, and weight train every morning. I'm hoping it's gonna help reduce some inflammation in my left elbow. And it also helps to really boost your mood as well as improve a lot of circulation. And I really struggle with circulation in my extremities, particularly my feet. So gonna get my fiance here, gonna get in the water and see how long I can make it today. Okay, it's getting easier. <sighs> minute seven, you guys, damn. Okay, we're just chilling. We're going two minutes. Let's go. What's my time? It's 218. 218, my friends. Day four is when things really started to become a lot of fun. My fiance actually decided to join me in the pool after having just woken up from a nap. Like a total badass, she jumped in right away and stayed in for an entire minute with zero complaints about it at all. I stayed in for a little bit over two minutes. Day five, I almost forgot to do the cold plunge altogether and ended up having to do it later in the evening. I definitely noticed that the water feels much colder when the sun is not in your face, even though the actual water temperature was the exact same. That being said, day five is when I really noticed that staying in the water had really stopped being hard. I was able to effortlessly stay in the water at this point after the initial 15 to 30 second shock and just hang out while enjoying the benefits of the cold plunge. It's definitely gratifying to finish the plunge and enjoy the endorphins afterward. Day six, my fiance joined me again. This time the water felt a lot colder, but she still made it for an entire minute. I decided to push myself here and see if I could make it past three minutes. I made it to three minutes and 30 seconds and took another water reading and the water had dropped a few degrees to 52 degrees. This really blew my mind and I never thought that I'd be able to make it this long, especially if you remember that my whole goal at the start of the challenge was to slowly make my way up to at least a minute in the water. Getting to over three minutes really surprised me a lot and I was really proud of how far I had come in such a short time. Alright, alright my friends, day 7, actually day 8 because yesterday I was not feeling well, I did not think it would be a good idea to jump in the pool, but we are here, cannot believe it, cannot believe that I got up to 3.5 minutes uh, the other day with this cold plunge exercise after starting at 15 seconds to begin with, totally nuts, this is absolutely going to be a part of my routine moving forward, I cannot believe the results that I've seen in terms of muscle recovery, so I mentioned the other day I went I hit a savage leg day, tons of squats, tons of volume in the legs, and cold plunged in the afternoon and was able to go for a two and a half, three mile run that evening without even feeling any of the work that I had done in the gym, which was kind of depressing, but also very satisfying because I love to be able to go for runs at night and I love seeing the results that I'm seeing just in terms of the recovery protocol of having this as part of it. So really enjoying this. Definitely think we're gonna make this a uh, habit moving forward. I've also experienced a lot of the mental benefits as well. So the sense of accomplishment and also the endorphins of doing this and then going and just sort of resetting my day has been something that I've really, really enjoyed a lot. So I just finished my morning run here, hit a couple miles with my dog. Now I'm gonna jump in the pool and then we are packing up and heading back to Minneapolis for the holidays. Day seven ended on a massive high note. The sun was shining and I worked my way all the way up to a full five minutes in the water. This is the first of many challenges that I'm planning on doing on my channel. So if this has been interesting in any way, shape or form to you, why not drop a subscribe and hit me in the comments down below whether you are an avid cold plunger yourself, or whether this has inspired you to get in the cold and start experiencing some of the benefits that I did. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're looking for a video to watch after this one, a great video would be the one up on the screen right now, which talks about how I stay productive for 97% of every single day.